hello friends my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to configure wave logic in Eclipse so here uh, you go to the you make sure you are in Java e perspective and here right click over here go to the new and go to the server and here in server you have a different options right so you have oracle if you expand oracle then here option is coming oracle web logic server and my eclipse is i can show you that is mars if you do not see any adapter to configure uh, oracle web logic server like this in your eclipse if you go to the here then you have oracle right if you do not see this option then you can uh, you can go to the eclipse marketplace uh, in uh, help uh, there is an option is called eclipse marketplace and here uh, you can search for the web logic so here you need to write web logic and if you search then adapter already i have uh, installed right so here if you want to uh, download or acquire inst install rug and then you need to click on the install and that will get install and you'll get option like this right so here already i have downloaded the adapter to configure uh, wave logic in my eclipse so i'm getting this oracle option and in oracle we have a oracle wave logic server so this is generic for all versions so now next click on the next button and here I have installed uh, I, name you can select anything whatever you want and server type I have selected local because uh, I have created my domain domain on the my local machine if you have created domain on the some remote machine then you need to select remote address and you need to specify the domain directory right so but I have created domain on the my local machine in previous video tutorial if you did not watch my previous tutorial how to create domain on oracle uh, weblogic 12c then please go and watch now you need to select the your domain directory so here if you click over here then you have a two options one is browse you can browse your uh, domain location explicitly another is saying that known domain right so before that let's go to the back here next and here let's go to the known so there are two domains as of now so in earlier video tutorial i had created domain one so that i'm going to select and now click on the next and click on the finish right and, uh, uh, and now you can restart the server so one thing i have escaped so i'm going to delete again this server and let's create from let's configure from beginning again one thing that has been skipped uh, because uh, so if, uh, I, I, I am configuring this wave logic server uh, I had already configured earlier and now again I am uh, configuring it so here you can see environment so first of all if you go to uh, install uh, configure then this kind of uh, pop-up will come out and there you will have to select the location of your wave logic home location so uh, where you have installed so we can install like this so we can provide this location like this uh, earlier i had installed my wave logic uh, in f drive and that uh, location is here so here you will have to select this uh, WL server, WebLogic server, this location you need to specify and uh, Java home location will be taken automatically and you need to click on the finish. So this was escape that's why I wanted to show you twice. Now we will click on the next then from here, from here I had started earlier so let's select that domain one which we had created earlier and now next and I don't, know, I don't want to run any project as of now so let's click on the finish now domain is uh, sorry wave logic uh, 
server is configured with Eclipse and now right click over here and click on the start now WebLogic server is getting started you can see the console right earlier I have shown you how to start WebLogic server using command prompt right so now this way you can configure with Eclipse and you can start right so saying that is starting WebLogic server now validating so there are certain steps Eclipse is performing internally now saying that server is now started mode right now you could go to the browser and you can type this URL and that is showing a uh, admin console saying that enter your username and password so earlier username and password i had entered wavelogic and wavelogic1 so wavelogic is the username and password is wavelogic1 and press enter and we have logged in and you can see welcome username is wavelogic and connected to the domain one so in web logic you will have many domains you can create and every domain represents the single instance of web logic so as of now we have create we have connected with the domain one so in this video tutorial i have shown you how to uh, uh, configure oracle web logic 12c with your eclipse eclipse mars and how to start it and how to uh, log in into the admin console so that's all in this video tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video tutorial.